guys, today's video is how to make transitions in Keynote. So the first thing you're going to do is change your um, background of your paper to green because you're going to use this as a green screen when you're editing your videos. So you have to press color fill and then go to the spectrum and pick bright green. Now I'm going to shape so I can pick out what's going to go across the screen when I'm using my transition. So I picked a star and these ones are transparent so those are probably the best ones to use. We can use any one you want. So now I'm just making a little bit bigger so that you can see it and then I'm going to get this out of the screen and I like it. And then I'm going to make the border wider. Then I'm changing the font on it to crayon, I guess. And I'm changing the color to black. Now if you use green or blue as your color, then you probably it's probably going to mess up when you edit it because it's going to act as a green slash blue screen. So I recommend trying a darker color like black. Now we're going to start animating, but first I decided to pull the radius of this, um, the shape so it would be a little wider, and yeah, that's how you do it, those two little green buttons. And now we're going to animate, so you're just going to go to that little red button at the top of your screen next to Format and Document. I'm going to press it and press build in and I'm pressing an effect that I'd like to use. So I pressed move in and I'm do, doing bottom right to the left and then I'm pressing an action which I'm going to do move again and I'm just going to drag it around so I can figure out where I want it to move to. And then there's a little preview button next to change and you can just see how it's going to Wrapped when it's finished animating, so it's just going to move down. I'm adding another action, and I'm just going to drag it to any place I want to for it to move. I'm pressing the finger again, and going to build it out, and I'm building it out with another move. I'm picking it around the screen and like it, and then I'm pressing the preview again so I can see it. Now after you've done this, you're basically done, but I don't know how to switch my videos on to my animations on here to QuickTime without sending it through iMessage. So if you have iMessage, just send it through to someone that doesn't care if you send it to them through iMessage. And you have to be able to press um, QuickTime, so I'm going to do that in a second. Oh yeah, for the builder, you're going to press after transition and then after that build. Now we're going to go to share and I'm pressing send a copy and I'm sending it to iMessages as I said before and it's going to go through QuickTime and then you can send it to that person and then when you're ready pull it out and it's your download folder so that you can edit with it. Very simple, here are some any, um, transitions that I made earlier that you guys can check out and I'm going to have all of the I'm going to upload them so you can use them in your videos, but you have to get credit. So yeah. 